Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee. Just a quick instructional video on how to light and operate a smoker. So what I got here is uh, just starter fuels, newspaper, egg carton, and then I'll end up using dried leaves this time for the main fuel. Uh, wood chips, pine needles, uh, even some green pine needles will work quite nicely. And one thing you want to start with is you want to have this this thing here on the base, inside on the base at the bottom of your smoker. You see the feet, it goes uh, feet down and it just provides some airspace for the bellows where the bellows blows in right here. You don't want your fuel, your newspaper jammed up right against that. You want to have some room for airflow in the bottom of the smoker there to make it more efficient and so that it doesn't just clog it up. So you put this in, make sure it's feet down and uh, that should start you off all right. Just make sure it does land feet down because sometimes it'll flip over as you put it in. That's looking good right there. Alright, so we'll start with lighting, lighting the newspaper up and then doing the rest as she goes. Newspaper goes first. It's already a good flame coming out of there. You can throw in the rest and, and just keep it going as you need to by blowing on the bellows. You see the flame coming out there quite nicely. Just start to pack it down. Make sure that first starter fuels get going pretty well. And you start off with just a little bit of your last fuel there, the leaves. Just make sure they get going. You can tell by the smoke and the smell and even the sound that they're starting to burn already. We get those in, get them down to the bottom. Make sure you're still getting a good flame coming out so that it's actually burning as opposed to smoldering. And then you more or less want to smother that flame with the rest of your, of your fuel. You want to smother it just so that you keep smoke coming and not actual flames or embers. All the while, as long as you still, you know, if you're in doubt at all as to whether it's actually burning, just give it a little puff and you can see how good this is going. You jam it all down so that you don't get, try not to include rubber balloons, jam it all down so that you don't get any flame coming out. And if you do pack it down, then it won't, it won't burn as much as it'll just smolder. And that's your perfect, your perfect smoke for your bees. You don't want to be cooking them with embers shooting out at them, and you don't want to be blowing out hot smoke you want to be blowing a cool thick white smoke that's your ideal see I was starting to go down a bit now just give it a couple puffs Get the fire going again and we come back up nicely and one thing to remember is don't set down your smoker once you do get it going and you're at your bees don't just set it down in the grass or any place where it can combust because there have been grass fires started by smokers that are just left and uh, left in uh, combustible material. So there you go. That's your smoker. That size smoker with that amount of fuel in it will easily go for an hour plus. Uh, just be careful what you do with it. The smoke coming out is a nice cool white smoke. Once you get, you just be careful when you get to the bottom of, uh, of your container that you're not blowing out embers because then you'll be running out of that, that mash of fuel that you put down at the top. Um, and then that's it. So that's, uh, thanks for watching 4D Honeybee. That's how to start and run a smoker. Hope you enjoy it.